Hi, my name is Nick Hoyt. I'm with Chesapeake and Midlantic Marketing, and we are now proudly representing Azo Displays, Azo Monitors. And I'm here with Brian Cote of Azo, and we want to talk to you about one of their phenomenal products, and this is a monitor with an integral decoder. And I guess, Brian, one of the uh, tell us about one of the most unique features about this, which I guess is the simplicity of this design, yeah. integration yeah. Of, of the decoder. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. The really unique thing with this monitor is it can, it gets its video signal straight off the network. So this thing will bring in up to 16 different live camera feeds and decode them directly in the monitor. No PC, no software, no additional equipment required. Simply just the monitor and a network connection. So all I have connected here is just the network connection to this monitor? That's it. And the power connection, and I, there's a pretty unique feature with the power connection also, right? Yes, the power connection's actually all inside the monitor. There's yep. no extra brick power supply. So literally it's just from the wall to the monitor. What about um, interoper interoperability with other manufacturers, um, mm -hmm. camera manufacturers? Obviously mm -hmm. we have a selection of Bosch cameras here, including mm -hmm. their new 360 camera on display, but um, other VMSs, does this mm -hmm. interface with so, that? Because this monitor is, <clears throat> is an OnViv monitor, this will connect up to any camera that supports OnViv. So it's very universal, um, and it's really designed as a live view monitor. So you do have some PTZ control, you do have a pan and zoom features as well as focus features. Wow. So I see this as a very unique application for anywhere you want to introduce a monitor into your VMS system or into mm -hmm. your facility. Um, I imagine the time to put one of these in is much less also based on there's not a lot of hardware involved, just one product. Yeah. yeah, literally this thing is really from box to display is only about 30 minutes uh, versus, you know, you don't have any uh, software updates for the operating system, you know, win no Windows updates. Uh, you don't have to worry about software license, you know, downloading a new license file, anything like that. Uh, it's really just, you hit the discover button the cameras auto-populate, and you can start displaying right away. I know we all hate in the industry to use the word plug and play, but this is as close as it gets without having those licenses and separate yeah. hardware that you have to locate. Um, applications that people might be thinking about for this. Mm -hmm. I can see a remote security officer mm -hmm. checkpoint where they want to have video. Absolutely. Um, what are some other things that maybe come to mind? Where else could people uh, find a use for yeah. So we see healthcare with nursing stations. Yes. Uh, yeah. We see uh, retail at checkout counters. Um, we'll see anywhere that they need a, a live view unobstructed. And going back to guard shacks, mm -hmm. one of the inter interesting stories with that is people usually connect through a VPN in mm -hmm. these locations, and that really slows down the video feeds. Mm -hmm. Because there is no traditional Windows operating system here, you don't have to worry about the VPN connection. You can get in around that. Interesting. Yeah, and you mentioned retail, and that would obviously be a, be a public view monitor. Mm -hmm. Very simple to do without extra required hardware yeah. and licenses. Um, viewing angle, I heard that that was another feature that Azo Displays really um, does does very well. Yeah, so all of our, uh, our door vision monitor, this one, mm -hmm. the FDF2304 WIP, has a viewing angle of 176 by 176 horizontal and vertical. Mm -hmm. So that means really, even at the angle that we're sitting here, I can clearly still see the image and see all the details going on in the screen I, without any additional glare from from the office lights. And I've noticed that's pretty impressive, the viewing angle that I have here, be, to be able to still see video, that's very impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, also, if you have multiple monitors in your system, mm -hmm. the color reproduction on Azo monitors mm -hmm. Um, I understand that they're going to be duplicated um, yeah. from um, monitor to monitor? Yes. So every ASO monitor we make is calibrated at our factory. So each unit is visualized and all the color properties are set identical. So out of the box, if you were to line up 50 monitors side by side, they would all have the same uh, tone of red, green, blue, the same white color. You know, you don't get a little extra yellow, a little extra blue. They all look mm -hmm. alike. Um, and the nice thing with that is that means they're going to burn down the same over time. So three years from now, they will still all look alike. They won't look different. They won't, you know, one be extra yellow, one be extra blue. And when you mentioned burn down, which all, all monitors do, electronics yeah. do, um, 
Azo has a feature that helps uh, deter that, or elim not eliminate yeah. that, but um, how, how, do, how do you handle that um, so we have degrading a over time? Yeah, so we have a photo sensor that's mm -hmm. built into the back of every Azo monitor, independent mm -hmm. of what model or what product line. Mm -hmm. What this sensor does is it watches the amount of backlight burn. So when the backlight gets a little dim, it starts to increase the wattage to the backlight, and that allows the image quality to stay stable over time. So that will allow each monitor to get a little dimmer, but yet maintain the same image quality. That's, uh, that's impressive, and these are things that most people don't consider when they're looking at a monitor. They look at size, what size do you need? But Azo, mm -hmm. even without our monitors that include the decoder that we're talking about here, but those are some of the strengths of Azo monitors. They yeah. offer these features that most people don't consider. Okay, Brian, let's take a look at this user interface and uh, give me an idea of uh, you know, some of the features and capabilities here. Um, we're looking at live video here, and I imagine that on the right side of the screen, those gears represent configuration? Yes, they do. This is actually our setting screen here, so let me uh, move the mouse to our setup. Now, this easy setup screen gives you everything along the left side, and what we can do here is auto-discover. What the auto-discover function will do is it will automatically set up, find cameras on your network and input them into the screen. So we're going to start the auto-discovery and then we're just inputting the, uh, the user authentication into the monitor. And I imagine I can change that if I want to? Absolutely. Okay, you can set that up to, you can set multiple administrators mm -hmm. so then you can track who's adding cameras or who might be deleting cameras. And keep people out of that if I want to. Exactly. Yep. You can set up a viewer mode as well as a user only mode. So those users would have PTZ control but not have uh, administration level exactly. control. That, that yep. I see we found the cameras on our network. Yep. So uh, we added this new one. Okay. The 5000 IR. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to apply that. So that setting is now saved. And we're simply going to return to our taskbar over here on the left and click exit. And now this image will come up right here. And this is that monitor that we just, or the camera that we just added. And I think it's important to note, as we talked before, all we did was apply power to this monitor and hook it to the network. Yep. We that didn't add licenses or have to do anything. It just, uh, Scan the network. Just plugged it in. That's awesome. Yeah. So another unique feature is you can go to a full screen mode. So if you don't want to see the user interface, mm -hmm. you can get, get rid of that. Single click of the button gets rid of that. Now you can also select from a single quad 9, 16, or, 18, or 8 view uh, function here. You even have a page mode as well as sequence, so you can go through and see a se uh, sequential rolling of your different cameras. So as a user and operator in the system, it basically gives me all the live view features I would normally expect in a, uh, a VMS monitor. Correct. Great. And then we also, the monitor does also ship with a remote in case you didn't want to use a mouse, you would rather have a uh, remote con wireless remote control. Excellent. So the, uh, for PTZ cameras, it does have functionality supported through OnViv, so we could actually use this uh, camera control section. Mm -hmm. We would either click on the camera with the PTZ or select from the pull down menu, mm -hmm. and then we can use the user interface to. Uh, Which I think are dark. The camera in the bottom left corner is our Pantel Zoom camera, correct? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't have uh, titling on all of our cameras <laughs> yet, but. <laughs> so that is our Pantel Zoom camera. Yeah, yeah, with our virtual joystick on the on the screen. Exactly. Very nice. Yep. So now, this is all supported through OnViv. So whether this was a Bosch camera or another camera, if it's supported through OnViv, it can be supported on our monitor. So, if I understand you correctly, we have four images. Those could all be four different IP cameras. Yes, they could. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. All being all being decoded by the same product. Correct. Yep. Now this product will decode any H.264 or Motion JPEG video stream, mm -hmm. and you can even control the streams at which you pull. So here, let me go into the function settings. Let's select our camera and go in the video settings, and this will allow us to choose from any of the downloaded media profiles, select the compression format, the resolution if it can support multiple resolutions. 
and you can control the uh, how much bandwidth that this monitor will require on your network. So, and then you can control this for any number of cameras. So when you talk about the bandwidth settings that you're controlling right now, I imagine because we can see 16 images, I can't expect to see 14 4K images simultaneously. And that's where the settings become very critical in that we have to uh, optimize it to see what is more important, highest resolution or highest camera count. Correct. And this is all happening without interfering with the storage and the primary recording, which is going back to your N uh, NVR solution. That's impressive. So this is a completely uh, different stream, if you will. You said this was an on-diff stream that is uh, not interfering with or changing what we're doing on our recording or live view side. Absolutely. We're not going to interfere at all with that uh, recorded file. That's very impressive. Brian, thank you very much for the overview of the decoder. Um, obviously very user friendly, uh, very intuitive, so that um, is very easy to use. Um, give me an idea, because everybody asks this of course, uh, what is the cost, what are we looking at uh, price wise on this decoder monitor combination? So MSRP is uh, 3500 mm -hmm. which is very comparable to the costing that you would need for a, a computer, monitor, a software, licensing, uh, you know, Microsoft's not getting any cheaper with their uh, operating system updates. Correct, so even combining even an, an HD decoder and a monitor and the licenses, you're right, I, I, it, de it definitely adds up. And what we talked about before was the time. Um, obviously, assembling all that takes time, where we already discussed this, one of the, the great uh, compelling yeah. stories is the ease at which this can be installed. Yeah, I mean, 30 minutes or less for installing of this, and you know, simply two cables and mm -hmm. get to set up your cameras. And uh, the other option I could see being easily two hours to set all that equipment up. At, um, but yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, well, this offers certainly a very compelling uh, product, and I see a lot of uses that we already discussed for a lot of customers. So, thank you for sharing that with us today, and I, I, I look forward to uh, uh, learning more about Azo and discovering more opportunities where we can actually uh, apply this technology. Great. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Enjoy.